All right, guys. I just need a few, and we're going to go into EPT Asia.
Oh, I'm muted. Fuck. Thank you. I did not know I was muted. Thank you, guys. Gene, oh, space, space, but I said, or space days, Gene Sim, and uh, in a days based. Thank you, guys. Good looking out. All right. Here we go on a best of three, our first series of the night. Spawning the bottom left-hand corner of Ancient Cistern. Representing Dragon Phoenix Gaming. Give it up for Hero. In the pink. And his opponent in the upper right. Representing Kirktown. He doesn't have it on the Aegis server because we ain't got that. It is finesse. In the blue. Now, this talk about lopsided messages. Finesse looks like he's going to proxy. He's going to try his build like he did against Nina. He's going to have a lot of ping, guys, because Finesse is from the United States. Hero, of course, Korean, playing on the Korean servers. And I'm just going to make a tweet. All right, here we go. Hero ain't got nothing on Kirk down wise, man. Oh, yeah, true. Yeti would love this one. Hopefully Yeti comes back for this. I should have. I did message him on it. We got a member of Kirktown against this hero now, knowing he's getting proxied again. These are new maps. Hero, 
not right in range of that, but he might find it depending on... I don't think that's... A, yeah, it's not the path thing. He does know he's being 1-1-1, but... It's gonna be a proxy 1-1-1 from Finesse. He does like this build. He did take a game off Nina doing this. Hero gonna respond by double gating and Reaper walling. Sort of Reaper walling, you know. I do like the double stalker opener from Hero. It's a smart play, and he's gonna have some semi-agile scouting. But it is safe. Oh, he's, he's just gonna push across the map. He is just gonna push across the map. Finesse going into a reactor after the Reaper. Trying to get some damage on these scouts to double gate. Double stalker production. This could be rough for Finesse. Because uh, this is going to be two Marines. Finesse likes his Marines and tanks. Hero's just going to push across the map. Finesse not finishing the wall is going to be a bit of a problem. Uh, but these stalkers just going across the map might just end the game. However, supply depots will buy him sometime. First two stalkers are out. Second, going to go move across the map. And this is a very decisive play from Hero. He's just going to one base it. Going into 2 a Robo on one base. Now Proxy. He's just like, we're just going to try to finish the game right now. Cheese be dang. Hero versus Kirk down. Finesse. Oh, man. Looks like Hero is going to take him down to Kirk Town. At this rate, Finesse is just going to opt to get it rid of that. He's just going to go for it right now. He's going to have a few units. Little bits of time. He is going to have a medevac, but there's going to be some stalkers out yet again. Four stalkers in the front line and recall available. The rough finesse is going to have to pull what well, few workers he has for economy. They just basically be sacrificed to hold the wall. I think he ought to just let it go myself. He could have been mining more. And, uh... Wait, he, oh, he forgot to pick up a marine! Not like this. Finesse is not going to have any economy, and he can't recall. He is tearing. Finesse pulling the boys... Trying to go to attack. Vanessa going to try to get a drop in. It's going to be three Marines and a tank. Tank is in a lot of trouble. Oh, nice. Well, almost nice for Finesse for a moment. Medivac out of the way from healing the Marines, unfortunately. In terms of winning big tournaments, this is like the best Protoss in the world. The, the single G and Hero takes it. Casting that guy who was just here? Yes. Finesse. We casted him earlier today, too, when I was doing replays. I got to pay attention quickly. And here we go. We will be moving on to game at number two. On the hero side of the bracket. Lots of good players tonight. But I figured what way do we go with Dave covering hero... One of my favorite Protoss now. One of all of our favorite Protosses right now. Let's be real. In current times. Versus a member of Kirktown. I would have got Han Mono otherwise. You know how it bees. Spawning in the upper left-hand corner of Babylon. Give it up for Dragon Phoenix Gaming's hero. In the pink. And his opponent on the bottom right. Representing Kirktown. Give it up for Finesse. This, the eighth. Finesse the eighth, I should say. All right. Hero. Going for the old scout arena. The old pylon scout arena. He's going to see that there is a barracks back home. He's going to notice that there is a gas first build. Hero going to be damn annoying with the probe. Finesse going to get a start on it. Try to get some hull damage, but Hero... Agile enough where he doesn't even lose any hull. All right. And, ooh. Look at that worker. Oh, no. It's, Finesse is going to lose an SCV, it looks like. Finesse is an NA Masters 1 Terran player. 
Oh my gosh, he's really getting messed with. One probe doing god. Look at how good Hero is. All right. That's going to try to get uh, a scout with a uh, swift breeze that could kill this SCV. Guys, are we, are we watching Mr. Miyagi of probes here? Hello? Wait, what? Oh, no. I think poor Finesse is nervous. But he's fighting against the Mr. Miyagi of probes. Hey, hey, hey. Who wants to have some fun? Hey, thank you for the raid at full heart. Somebody wants to, I hope you had a good stream of do. We are just starting back up stream again with EPT Open Cup Asia number 159. Covering the hero side of it. Thank you for the raid. Do appreciate it, guys. Make sure you get full heart to a uh, follow. And I hope you had a fantastic stream, but it's going to be two minutes in the future. Yeah. Yep, EPT Asia. I'm just going to do it for you. Here we go. I normally shouldn't be doing this in the cast, but... Alright, so... That said, hope you had a fantastic stream, bud. Uh, wow. SCV out on the side of the map still. Low damage. Reaper looks like it's in a lot of trouble. That was his probe micro. Now we got adept micro. And can Finesse get this adept uh, Reaper alive for a bit to get a little bit of a scout at least? Shield battery over there from Hero. Adept on the other side. Wow, I didn't see this. Wow, it made it into the wall. I'm sorry, I was a little distracted from the Raider Reno, but my God, this is going to be rough. Five workers falling, six workers falling. Poor Finesse is playing with a lot of ping. He is from the Americas. This is on the year. Oh my God. Damn, he's, he's just getting... He's in mental anguish between ping and playing against Hero. Uh, I can definitely I, I can definitely see the ping being a huge factor right here for him, too, though. From some of the stuff I've played Finesse, I've seen him play. He does not normally have this micro. It's, he's got to be feeling the uh, Korean server ping for sure. Uh, but still, either way, Hero is not making anything light of Hero's micro. But still, damn. Oh, ho. and the Oracle follow-up, too. Sorry, guys, got a little distracted again. And sorry, the score was 1-0. GG is called. And Hero advances. Very well played and a good attempt from Finesse, nonetheless, too, still. Uh, unfortunately, Hero does take it for Kirktown. Finesse, uh, unfortunately, has the L. Han Mano and Chance ongoing. Let's see how that goes. I'm going to wait for their game. So we'll be going into Han Mano. Very well played Finesse, though, too. And it's no digs that you... I, th I know you're battling... Ping and arguably the uh, overall most well-rounded Protoss. NZ World. Certainly the highest ranking tournament winning Protoss in the world. To a Code S in DreamHack Atlanta in the main event. I'm going to try to stay on this side, but if I can, I'll catch another thing. Uh, we'll have Han Mono and Chance. And the winner goes on the fight hero. Yeah, poor finesse. Oof. Spoiler? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I did it again. Hero bully. All 
All right, so we're going to go to Han Mono versus Chance. They're probably going to be a bit. It's a TBZ, but... Han Mono versus Chance. We have to wait for it. That was... Fun. Uh, yeah, man, it's all right. Oh, no. Gene Sim bet for Kirk down. <laughs> yeah, it must have been the uh, the ping a bit, too, though, for sure. I would imagine. Because I I can't even play on Korea. I, I've tried. I'm like, I tried playing in EPTs. I was like, nah, we got bodied. We got absolutely bodied. We're going to wait around for... Oh, Chance. Just finding out the score. And Chicken Man's covering us too. So are the Cranky Ducklings. But you know what? Yeah. We got it, fam. You and your SIG space? Yeah, true. Hence why I have all the sinus problems. Prediction close. All right, here we go. I'm going to do it. Choose outcome was Hero. All right, here we go. And... Moving on to game number one, spawning in the upper left-hand corner. He's a man of controversy. He's a man of cheese. He's a man of Terran. Representing Prep Esports in the orange is Han Mono. And his opponent in the bottom right, I'm sorry, it was Chance. <laughs> it is Chance in the red. Representing Elixir. No. I think this is a pretty... It's one for chance. I think it's a pretty cl uh, close matchup, honestly, with these guys. So this should be a banger. Chance is up a point. <laughs> and we're on Babylon, one of the new maps coming up soon, hopefully. Well, not hopefully for us Protoss players, but... <laughs> going with all the Reddit memes here. The salt, the wine... All right. And here we go. <laughs> you always enjoy me, enjoy me playing in there. Well, we're watching the hero side of the bracket. <clears throat> we'll see. I, I requested it. So if we get stuck in standstills, guys, that's because I want to cover the full bracket side. Unless other people end up doing it. I, I wouldn't mind shifting the gears for... Chicken man and the ducklings for some of it, but had to get my boy finesse and uh, hero. Considering Bao and Steadfast are covering Scarlet side, I was like, we're going hero. Um, because they're on opposite sides of the bracket. Okay, adapt opener, nice. Is Chance gonna go Stargate? Looks like he might. He is not going for Warp Gate just yet. So I believe we're probably going to have a Stargate opener. Though I've seen Chance do some cheeky stuff. Pretty, Honestly, pretty standard build from Hero. He's just playing safe, getting a high ground CC or for Hero from Han Mono. I'm calling him Hero. Re. Hero will be like, don't be calling me no Protoss player. Han Mono will be giving me some crap. It is going to be a Stargate opener. And it looks like a 1-1-1 from... Oh, is it a 1-1? No. It's uh, either three racks factory, uh, or it's going to be two one one, and I think it's going to be three racks factory from Han Mono, which could be pretty good, uh, depending on how if he scouts the uh, the Stargate, and depending on what happens from Chance. If Chance goes for an Oracle and then just goes and basically just reacts and goes right into Twilight, 
Could be rough if it's going to be right into Phoenix's. Mm, I don't know. But it is going to be an Oracle opener. So they can be darn annoying. Uh, I do like the Widow Mines. So Widow Mines will certainly be out before the Oracle. So could be pretty good stuff. You like watching Princeton versus EPT? Well, gosh darn it. Maybe I'll play in an EPT. I, I just won't play on Korean server because I'm just too bad to deal with the ping. Ooh, two Widow Mines cheekily hidden there. That's a Gambit's play, but that could actually do some more friendly fire damage than not. So we had a little bit of a scout. Okay. It is going to be Twilight. I think this is going to go into Blink, actually. So it's going to be an Oracle opener into Blink. Kind of reminds me a little bit of how Geralt plays. Han Mato is going to lose a couple workers. Is going to debate him over. Oh, the Widow Mine is... Going to get it, but oh, kills five workers. The Oracle does, and damages about five more. Yeah, wow. Yeah, that is six, seven, six more workers, but one was damaged by the Pulsar Beam. Another gate going on, so it's going to be a, a proxy gate. It's a four gate blank follow up. Hello? Chance with the cheese. Hanmano is going to have Stim, but unfortunately, because of the Stargate opener, he's going to build more Marines. Uh, it does have Hellions coming out. It is, as I said, though, it was three racks factory. I do like it, but this is where you want uh, Marauders. If Hanmano just had Marauders, it'd be a build order counter, I think. But it, sadly, I don't think that's going to be the case. Hellions are going to sell the Stalkers and go debated. Hanmano can start building somebody. He is going to have a tank out. That's going to be pretty nice. Hopefully, Stim finishes up for him pretty shortly. It will. Uh, first each tank is scouted. Obviously, there's no Robo. The Phoenix is going to be useful for blinks. The Hellions kind of scout for proxies. I think Hanamano does have some idea of what's coming. I didn't see game number one of this. So we'll see what happens next. As Hanamano postures his defense and Chance just has a good amount of stalkers here in the one Phoenix. Oh, this is kind of nice. There's no detection just yet. A Robo coming down behind us for a Protoss player. Phoenix coming up and gets one of the Widow Mines. Oh, some splash damage on the Stalker. The Siege Tank does come in clutch, but guess what? The Tech Lab going down is going to be... A oh, very painful for Han Mono. Combat shields are denied. Marines jumping on top of this. They do have Stim, but he doesn't have anything to support. Oh, Siege Tank's coming. That was kind of a bit of a blunder. Does get some value, but realistically, that was eight Stalkers out of Phoenix going down. After the Oracle, Adept went down, too. That uh, feels bad. So now Han Mono can push across the map, I think. Chance is taking a chance, you might say, on a third base. He's going to have a shield battery. Uh, but his army supply looking a little anemic. That said, Han Mono has done a boys pull as well. He's going to try to chase this back. I'd like to... He's just going Marine Tank. I really think he should have went for some Marauding Boys with this. Maybe even going Concussive instead of Combat Shield. But he's committing to the Marines. He's committing to the Combat Shields. I don't think he's going to have enough power here to stop this. He's going to try to posture up. And uh, yeah, there's no tank spread. But I, don't, I kind of don't hate the idea of what he was doing. I'm not building an eBay. Oh, it's going to be killed. I've seen him do this sometimes with mixed results. Ooh, sentries are going to be a bit of a problem too. Combat shields in the way. I'm Big Daddy Immortal trying to help the fight. Robotics uh, robotics Bay on the way and another Immortal coming up before. Charge finishing up is going to be really scary for Han Mono. And that eBay is even going to be... Oh, I don't understand. He's trying to buy stopping power from the uh, Marines. Oh, eBay is not being... He needs to cancel this, I think. Yeah, it didn't buy much time at all. There's not a lot of Protoss units at the same time. Yeah, oh! Han Mono push it in. Battery overcharge is activated. He needs to disengage. He does scout it. Siege Tank is going to go down. Yeah, he's nothing to heal. There's no medevacs. This is just three racks factory, but he went all in with this. I don't hate being aggressive, but I think... It was a bit of a misread. Okay. Marines still getting some value. Siege tanks. Getting a couple good shots here. Han Mano is pumping out a couple SCVs at a time, and it's just pure Marines behind this. 
Again, it was a boys pull, so that's a bit of a problem. All the Marines getting cleaned up the siege tank. 17 workers falling for Han Mono. Third base lives for chance. Han Mono looks like he's in a lot of trouble. And I don't really see how he's going to come back from this now. Very unlucky. All right. Haimano did have combat shields finished, but he doesn't really have a lot back here to hold. He wasn't producing any tanks behind it because of the boys' pull. A little bit of mistakes made with the uh, the eBays. So he gets the eBays in to try to... He tries to get them in to get provide a little Sim City for zealots and stuff to protect the tanks, but unfortunately, it just does not work. And now it's just combat shield marines and a tank. Extended thermal lance and colossi in the way is a pretty scary thought as well. Meanwhile, a warp prison going in loaded with charge lots and warp in potential as there are several gates for chance. Oh my god, there's even a disruptor. This is looking pretty ogre for Han Mano in a way, but we'll see if he can hold some way, somehow. He's not gotten concussive shells. He's got a starport coming, but he's a third CC on the way. Just drop. Looks like there's nothing to defend it. He had the one missile turret in the net, but not in the main. And it, no information here. I think uh, Chance is going to probably get a pretty successful drop. Mr. Han Mano just on two gases, by the way. I almost didn't hate that push, but... Uh, he should have probably disengaged the choke. I think he should have pushed the third more. Like, you're trying to end it in the nap, but that shield battery certainly did not help. Did not help manners. No recovering nice versus dark. Hey, I call dibs on the hero side. Thorn, I always do it. I can jump around. I, I know you're right. I'm always the guy to do it, but I literally was like, you know what? We're calling dibs on hero. And we got finesse versus. Yeah, I, I should probably do that, but. Oof. Nice little blast here. Proxies denied. Han Mato does retain his drop, but this medevac looks like it's in a lot of trouble. Nice scouter pylons, too. Uh, Han Mato is this forced. Uh, oh, no, never mind. He sees the warp prism. He knows it's over. And that is 2-0 for chance. I can split from series if need be. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I'll probably split from series. It matter not to me. Let's take a look at the bracket. Nobody's covering the Mohawk versus Oliveira either. I will see what we have. I have a horrible headache. Oh. Yeah, I don't really mind cut. There's a lot of good series. We could bounce around. But I, I should have, I guess, I, could, I don't know. I was following my side of this series, Mr. Thorne. That's all I'm going to say. I started with Hero. I said I would start out with Hero. I stay on that. But we miss Quaz, too. I would have liked, wouldn't mind getting Quaz. I've not caught him in a long time. Quaz and Dark started nice and dark. Gumiho, Scarlet, the Mohawk, and Oliveira. And Hero has advanced. Or no, Hero and Chance are going.
Yeah, I should have cut. Mm. No regrets. Man, I'm in some pain. You told the hero you didn't need to veto any map. <laughs> nice finesse. What up, Satan Savior? Yeah, I'm not gonna be. Co I we'll see what happens on here, but I have to take different sides of the bracket. I wanted to cover the hero side. How you doing, Satan Savior? Because Beowulf and Steadfast are covering Scarlet. We just have Chicken Man, the Cranky Ducklings, and I covering. Uh, we just covered the last one. Oof. I am going to hope I don't miss anything. Try to run and grab some more, uh, another ibuprofen here. Well, good job, Dave. Thank you, thank you. Sorry about that, guys. I am in some sinus pain. You don't know the new map names? Yeah, yeah. I forget. I remember some. Myself. We haven't been playing on them much, you know? All right. Hopefully we should have a series soon. Hero versus Chance. And we're going to be getting into it right now. For sure, there was no delay on that. Got a little Protoss versus Protoss on the new maps. This is Ancient Cistern, which we just played on, I believe. It is the shiny green one with the nice... Foliage and stuff. Oh, no, this... Yeah, no, this is a little different. Uh, but it, I, I do like how this looks. Anyway, spawning in the bottom right-hand corner of Ancient Cistern, as I said, in the pink, representing Dragon Phoenix Gaming with the Kaczynski, Kaczynski portrait. It is Mr. Hero. And his opponent in the upper right. Give it up for Elixir's Chance in the red. Little PvP hero, certainly the favored player, but can Chance take it back? He 2 0 Han Mono. And I, I think that was actually a pretty <clears throat> a pretty even match between Chance and Han Mono, truthfully. Um, I just think they could have gone either way. 
a little unlucky for Han Mano in the previous, uh, the end of the previous series we saw because we were catching finesse and hero in the first game. We shall see what happens. All right. Got another double gate, double gas. So it's a double gate opener from both. It's returned back to the meta. <clears throat> Never really went away from it from some people. But funnily enough, like the days the one gate are mostly gone, I feel like. Still see it sometimes, but lately it has shifted very much so to two gate in every server. By and large. But we'll see what happens. Uh, this is the new patch, too. So shield battery overcharge is nerfed from 200% uh, shield regeneration to 150. So in PvP, that's a big difference for, you know, getting all in and uh, by a four gate or three gate robo or various other cheeses if you're going to one gate. And that is definitely a contributing factor to why... We're not seeing as many one gate expands now. Ooh, Hero actually taking a little hull damage on that probe. But the sentry's about to pop any moment before the stalker, and it is going to make sure work of that probe. That was a debate from Hero. Well done. And just a little bit of things happening. Goes pretty well. Hero with that cheeky pot. You know what? Does that block this? Guys, I hello? Oh, no. There's a hex gap. Unfortunately, Chance unable to hide the stalker. Hero going in for Twilight Council before Nexus. Interesting. Let's go underdog. Hell yeah, that's how we roll here. Nexus going down. Shield battery going down as well. Guys, I'd also let, like to let you know the man of chickens is back. He do be casting. He do be streaming. For another EPT Asia. That's another reason why I was not going to cast EPT, maybe. But I should be trying to diversify the sides. All right. Got a little stalker scout from Chance. Hero is going to get a probe out, though. Looks like he is going to proxy. Hero going into blank. Oh my god, that is so unlucky for Chance. He just evades it. Oh my god, the Artosolope, or whatever the fuck those things are called. Brutal. Chance killing Mr. Artosolope. Or, let's see if we can find another one here on the map. Killing the Critter. We'll see what happens. Well. Hallucinated Phoenix going on out. And we do have blank and blank. Well, well, well. This is going to be a proxy for gate for uh, Hero. So he's actually going three gate. I uh, might see a fourth drop down here somewhere. Chance just on two gates so far is going into blink as well. Heroes is going to finish very shortly, and he's going to be pushing out. Chance narrowly missing this with the Phoenix Ball. Not narrowly. Unluckily for him, the army push outs there, and uh, Hero did go off pathing, I think. Oh, this is scouted. Ooh. Chance in a bit of trouble. Is going to kill the hallucinated Phoenix. One pylon going down. Force field is activated. Blink is not done for Chance, so Hero is going to be able to escape. He's going to get the probe and does force a cancel on that pylon. Blank finishing in about 10 seconds. We'll see what happens. We will see what happens. All right. Pretty scrappy engagement. Chance losing a lot more than Hero. Beautiful target fire from Hero with that said. Uh, but yeah. Chance, oh my god, Chance has this Nexus still going down right next to the proxy pylon. He's going to get, oh, I thought he was going to at least get a Stalker for his troubles, but not even that, only with five Stalkers surviving. 
He's just trying to get Big Daddy or Mortal out, but that is a ways away. Hero is just clobbering in here. Does have the sentry. Another force field is going to be available. Oh, well, right the hell now. Third base going on. He's going to tap the shield battery, but that's just going to be 100 minerals down the gutter. His hero warps in at three more stalkers. Hero is going for a third base of his own. Chance could cancel this. But he's going to take a chance with four stalkers. I don't think he has one. He's going to have to cancel this. He's buying time, but yes, remember to do it. It does get the cancel. Oh, I like this. He's going to try to uh, use a couple cheeky adepts to try to get some vision. Well, Gene Sim, I understand that's French, but in English, it's to do with the antelope, the animal. They made it the artosalope for StarCraft memes. So pardon my French. It's uh, not derived off the French word, <laughs> fortunately. It uh, has more to do with the antelope. But that is funny. I didn't know that. Fun French facts with Gene Sim. Volume 7, Part 9. Adepts are going to force a recall. No, I think it's Big Daddy Immortal more so. They're going to come in to defend. Five workers spawn for Hero. Chance is going to try to take the 3 o'clock position base. And I have some shit in my eye. So, oh my god. GG. Hero takes it. Chance concedes. <laughs> oh my god. I got something in my eye. I think it's an eyelash. Re. Gotta hate that. I don't know how the hell that happened, but... Woo! Oof. Going on to Gresfen. Alrighty. <laughs> ah, shit. All right. Shit. Uh, spawning in the bottom right-hand corner of Gressfan. In the pink. <laughs> Give it up for Hero. Under the barcode for Dragon Phoenix Gaming. And his opponent in the upper left. Give it up for Elixir's Chance in the red. You guys do be a little funny. Hopefully Chicken Man got my message. He's covering the same series now. And uh, guys, you are not liking my casting. Do give my man Chicken Man a little buzzerino over there. He is covering as well. A double guy opener as well as the Ducklings. A little unlucky, unlucky how things worked out there for some sport coverage, but whatever. It do be what it be. Alrighty. Yeah, it's going to be another double gate opener for both. 
curious to see how this one plays out. Very interesting play from Hero. Unlucky from Chance had some pretty good scouting, but it was just kind of a little bit of a uh, a little bit of luck into play there. Uh, he was just not scouting in the right directions. Again, these are new maps. These guys have been playing on them a bit. And customs practice and EPTs as and when they can. So they're getting used to them still, I'm sure. Uh, at least in some cases. So just like any of us, you're going to, you know, it, it takes the pro player's time to get used to these things. Especially when we're so used to maps that we've had for a while. Granted, we've had some shuffles in maps, so he's pretty nice. Okay, double adapt opener into Stargate from Mr. Hero. So pretty standard opener so far. Very likely to see an Oracle opener. Hi, Mr. Hero. Oof. Chance doesn't have anything in the wall. He is looking like he's going to go for an expansion. He's going for a Stargate as well. Uh, he's going to have a Stalker out. He's going to go plug the wall. Looks like he's setting up to do so. Hero cheekily using the pathing on the side for this. Hero. Oh, no. Chance. Again, just out of position. Is he going to see these? Oh, he's going to see them. He's going to time it out just right. He's waiting for the shade. Hero is going to be blocked. Upper chance. Doesn't have a probe down. Oh, he does. So he can drop the Nexus. Hero hasn't dropped his either. Hero going for the Oracle. I wouldn't really hate to see Chance get a Phoenix. Uh, naturally, but we'll see what happens. Probe even makes it out alive. Shield battery can cancel. Adapt's going to shade back. But they are going to be greeted by a couple stalkers. That's going to be an Oracle and an Oracle. Oof. Oof. Another shield battery's forced, but still good defense. From Chance, actually. He doesn't get any hull damage on... Oh, no, the RNG almost got some hull damage, <clears throat> but not quite. He's going to do so with these two stalkers, however. <clears throat> Hero's Oracle is going to be out way sooner than uh, Chance's. That said, one of the Adepts is cleaned up. The other does shade out, but look, at only with 2 HP, barely living. Technically a unit, but just barely a unit. Still, no shield battery. Hello? The only shield battery. I saw one in production. I thought I saw one for, cha uh, for Chance, but it was just Hero. So he lost seven workers, even with that great defense. Very sad for Chance. He is down five workers at the moment. He's going for a robo follow-up. Uh, on Hero's... Wait, Hero is going for a robo follow-up. Chance going for the Twilight. So I don't know if he's expecting Chance to be more aggressive or what... Three stalkers should fend this way. We will miss micro from chance. Means he's going to hit the Twilight Council. We'll see what happens here. Ooh. Interesting hit. On the Oracle. Oracle barely lives for hero. Both of them pretty injured. But do go back. So they're not a little unscathed. Actually, that's Chance's Oracle. Hero's not unscathed. But you know what? Hero is going for Phoenix Immortal. Is he going for the Roddy kind of play? I'm curious if he, if he doubles down on this. It's possible. But I'm not quite sure he's going into Immortals. Uh, Hero does have the two Oracles out and is going to kill Chance's other one with the Phoenix. Chance is going to bleak, committing to Blink Stalkers. This could be a spicy one, guys. Oh, my dear Lord. This map feels so different than a lot of the maps we've had in the pool to me. I don't know about you guys. Definitely a different feeling with this one, which, you know, it could be kind of nice, but there are some things that just feel amiss when you're used to seeing certain things, but sometimes variety is the spice of life, and we're going to see that in this map pool, as you can tell. Third base going down for Chance. However, Oracle, ooh, getting some good value. Chance doesn't have Blink yet. He's not going to be able to chase the Oracles down. Hero getting some uh, and mitigated damage here. Hero getting another gateway. So he's going to go push. He has a couple... No, oh, is he? Or is he just posturing to take a third? Looks like he might be going to push. Shield battery's going down. Not a lot of units here, but Blink's about to pop. The two Oracles going in. This could be actually a little deadly. However, uh, Hero has to be careful not to lose him. Granted, oh, it's a pretty massive army from Hero. It's 42 to 24 army supply chance. Uh, did go Twilight, but he doesn't have a lot of gates. Just getting a third one down. I think he should have probably tried to cheek in another gate there. It's going to be a bit of a problem. He does have more sentries than Hero, but Hero has got a ton of entry, uh, energy on his. 
Chance does have one more force field available, but those two are going to dissipate pretty shortly. Okay, Chance taking a little haul damage on the Stalkers. Battery overcharge is forced to be popped. The Phoenix is going to come in. Actually, a little Paramount right here in the push as well. Guardian Shield helping Hero out. Big Daddy Immortal is being quite the nuisance to Chance. He's, oh no, he's a little bit of missed target player. He shouldn't be targeting the no energy Phoenix. Should have been targeting Big Daddy Immortal with the uh, stalker numbers behind this. The two Oracles catching 14 workers. Mama Mia! Hero just so good. Army supply still in favor of Hero as he just pulverizes in here. Big Daddy Immortal about to drop. Chance is down on workers. He's up a base, but Hero is getting his other one. Does take care of the Immortals, but these Oracles is doing God's work. 22 workers falling. Chance is now basically down 2 to 1 on worker supply. Very rough stuff. Now, guys, I'm usually an optimist. But in this case, it looks like he may not have a chance. Our red Protoss player getting picked apart. And is certainly going to lose his third as well. But the double Oracle's coming in. Just six army supply. I think we have some cope coming on, unfortunately. Chance concedes. The gentleman and scholar that he is is going to allow game, the next game to go on. Very good stuff. <laughs> oh man, chicken man streaming too. All right, guys. What the fuck's going on here? Sorry, we have some weird shit going on in Korean from a player. What the fuck just happened here? That was weird. Awesome game. Hell yeah. Very well played by chance still. Uh, let's see what we have coming up. Waiting on the winner of, or the outcome of the Mohawk and Oliveira. So it is Hero versus Oliveira. Little PBT for you. Should be a banger of a PBT. Oliveira has been coming in strong in these EPT Open Cups lately. I reckon. Let's see what happens. All right. Hero versus Alibara. On the lower bracket side, looks like they got stuck without a lobby.
Seems like time is an MMA fan. Exactly. That's what everybody's been saying, Yeti. <laughs> oh, man. I think we might pregame a little Kirk Yeti. Yeti, thank you for giving me your profiles. Hopefully it all goes through without a hitch. We'll see how mad Dave made everybody. Time is good, Boy Scout. You're not wrong. How you doing, Zalbag, as well? Gene Sim making funnies earlier on was pretty based about the Artosa Lope. I guess that's going to be a new fucking meme. Because of Salope in French. All right, here we go. Anyway. Spawning in the upper right-hand side of Altitude, one of the new maps, and the blue. Give it up for Dragon Phoenix Gaming's hero. And his opponent in the bottom left representing Kaitsi. In the red, it is Oliveira. A man you might say that time is on his side. Aloevera, Aloevera. Oh man, now you guys are going to be starting to call me alco alcoholic. Got a call here for an alcoholic. As was said by Mo Sizlak on The Simpsons. Yeah, this is we've had a lot of TVZ finals, you're not wrong. And TVTs in the Americas and Asia. Let's see if Hero can do it basically cuz on this side we have uh, other bracket sides, we have... This is the semifinals, by the way. So, just... Sorry about that thing. I just, was all tabbed to see this. I should use my phone to be less of a boomer, but... Wish we had the StarCraft on, like, the Team Liquid app for the phone. It would be uh, quite nice. That's all right. They do a good job there. And this is on the ESL site I'm using. Ooh. Hero again demonstrating... Hard flex probe micro with the kung fu chop finesse. Probably not feeling as bad now that he sees that Hero's just that good with the probe micro. <laughs> Yeti, it's Kirk down. All right. Look at this. So even if he didn't get a kill, look at Hero's probe micro. It's so based. He is so based. Look at this. He is making Oliveira work for this command center with just one probe. He's like the Chuck Norris. I, I honestly, my hero is the Mr. Miyagi of single probe control. I'm telling you. I'm sticking with that. Look at this shit behind it. I don't even care what the follow up is. It's going to be a Stargate from Hero. More than likely. Yes, sir. He probe even manages to live with 4 HP. That said, it's going to be a 1 1 1 opener, more than likely from Olivero. Rigatron, how you doing? Hang in there, bros, uh, bags. I, I, Mr. Yeti Spaghetti, the fam all here. Oh my god. The probe actually. Wow. In a weird way, that probe actually helped out with the adapt for slightly, but still not the greatest move for Hero. And time with some good control, but look, the little fights with so little on the map for units. As this game goes clunking on, double adept pressure from Hero. Probably going to indicate Stargate, but that could mean anything. Truthfully, a lot of people have a double adept, and it could even be Blink. But it's going to be an Oracle opener from Mr. Hero going into Warp Gate behind it. Insane. Well, two adapts coming in. Are going to put a delay to the star pour. That's actually pretty big. And going to get a nice couple SCV. Oh, even catches the probe injured SCV from before. And he gets a good scout. Is going to see the Widow Mine. Duh, I don't think he knows about this one, though. But Hero is going to land the adept. Does he get this last kill? Oh my god, look at the micro from time to another adept coming in cheekily behind this. He doesn't know about that widow mine behind the mineral line. There's a lot of marines out now. The medevac coming. Oracle going into the natural. There's even a widow mine there. Oh, widow mine's gonna go, but there's friendly fire. Another SCV may have gone down there. I'm not so sure. But all the damage. 
Another Oracle going out. Meanwhile, a Medivac's coming. Funnily enough, they're going to greet each other and pass right by. That's going to allow Oliveira to maybe get in position. His oop, Oracle is on cooldown for a bit. Oliveira going to try to get some... Well, he's going to try to evade for a minute. But uh, Hero's going to get more SCVs. Still kind of sloppy trades. But I'd say great worker kills. Phoenix out... He's not going to get finished. This is an Ardosis Bylon. Warp Gate is complete, but there's only a Stalker and an Oracle here. Oracle is going to go down, and one Stalker... Well, okay, Phoenix is going to help a little. He's trying to buy time, because this is not any production, really, for Hero. He only has the one gate. He's forced to pull the boys. And uh, Stalker's going to target for the Medivac. Actually, is the probes go attack here. Pro oh, Oracle comes back home. Whoa! Scrappy fight, but let's see what happens. So, damn, the trades are about even, but in terms of workers going down for a Terran player this early, it's a little rough. Oracle going to be in a bit of a problem. Oh, my God. The Cyclone, the Liberator, and the Widow Mine hit the Phoenix. It almost. I don't know. That was really weird animation. And I do apologize, guys. My graphic settings are just a hair off, so it's not on the highest thing. Giddy up, probes are pulled. Oracle's gonna go down. Phoenix falls. Oh my god, all the probes are on top of the Widow Mine, but they get the kill. Hero holds. Damn, no shield battery and a very Artosis pylon. Luckily for Hero, does complete. He has a third base behind it. Three workers fell, but a damn good hold from Hero. Uh, Oliveira is just getting his two other racks done. Doesn't quite have a third CC coming just yet. Does have a couple tanks out as well, but still a lot of the Stargate units basically dead. Two Phoenixes, three Oracles, two Stalkers, three Adepts, and seven Workers. For two Widow Mines, nine SCVs, one Medivac, a Liberator, and 15 Marines, and a Partridge and a Pear Tree, folks. Those are some goddamn crazy trades, if I do say so myself. But that said, the Twilight Council's on the way for Hero. And he is going to hammer off that Stargate production now. I am pretty sure of it. Stim, combat shield, and plus one on the way for Oliveira. He did open with a tech-heavy build, but he is going into five racks behind it. So he ain't in the biggest hurry for third base. Want the one Phoenix going to go get a scout. Uh, but he has to be careful not to lose it just yet, because getting some information could be pretty big for a Hero. I think Hero did get a pretty good read of the situation so far but he is gonna have to buy time going into charge oh the gateway explosion i like this for hero he's got uh four gas saturation going for a fifth and getting another shield battery is net it's gonna be a while before charges here and the medevacs are coming with marine marauders two marauders in the drop uh, i'd like this phoenix out in the front to see what's going on from the other side of it looks like we might be seeing a push could be a psych out but I think we're going to see a push from both sides after. We do have Zealots warping in. No charge. Big Daddy Immortal coming to Templar Archives behind it. No upgrades for a Protoss player. Funnily enough on the patch, but kind of an interesting anti-timing. Stem and combat shields are going to make this kind of a pain for a Protoss player. As Blink isn't going to be a possibility because of the Stargate opener, etc. And losing all those very gas-heavy units, the Phoenixes, and mostly the Oracles. A lot of gas to absolutely depleted earlier. But charge is going to complete. It's going to be pretty nice for a Protoss player. But the, all these Widow Mines here, it's going to be a bit of a problem without any Phoenixes. But the one to lift off. <clears throat> so it's going to be a Mortal Archon charge a lot. Predominant army for a bit. Concussive Shell going to finish. It's going to be rough. The plus one's done for Terran. Can Hero stay in this? He's going to have to hold and get some good value because it's a two base all on battery. Overcharge is going to go down. Phoenix. Going into the fight, Widow Mines for days. Are going to put a lot of stopping power against the Protoss. The tanks are getting taken out. Oh my god. Big Daddy Immortals trying to help with all the Marauders, but a little bit of Miss Micro because they were covered up. Charge Lots desperately trying to wharf in. The Stalker's not able to hit the Medivacs, it looks like. I would have liked to see seen that, but he wants to take care of the bio. GG's called. Oliveira takes game number one. Looks fine to you. Well, I'm going to keep it the way it is because you know why? We don't want my graphics to stutter out here. I'm just going to do what makes things smoother.
to be honest. As long as you guys don't mind it, probably step it up later, but I don't know. Not today. Moving on to game number two. Also, welcome TBD forever. Man, oh man. That's his gamers gaming. I would have liked to caught Quasi in game one in dark. I've not seen him play in a while. He was eliminated. He did have to play dark after all, but I guess he's back in the StarCraft scene a little bit. <clears throat> Pretty based NA player. Zorgi Zorg. All right. And we'll be moving on here. To game number two this time on a cool ass map. Speaking of based, spawning in the bottom right hand corner of Dragon Scales. Give it up for Dragon Phoenix Gaming's hero in the blue. And his opponent in the upper left, representing Kitesy Gaming in the red, it is Oliveira. In our second. PVT map. Oliveira leading the point. Heroes got to come back. We've had nothing but TVZ and TVT finals for quite a while on these. It seems like in EPTs lately, uh, on the balance test patches and whatever, it's been for a lot of reasons. Um, in terms of enrollment and stuff to uh, the tournaments. But, you know, that said, we'll see what happens. Timeout hero. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Big it true, Boy Scout. Big true. Alright, anyway, here. Let's see what happens. Hero again demonstrating some OP probe micro, but it is going to take some haul damage this time earlier. Oliveira is a little wiser to it. But uh, cheekily enough, Hero needs to scout this. He's too busy harassing. I don't think he's going to scout the second racks. Wait, he is. Oh, this is huge for Hero. So it's going to be a two racks Reaper opener, probably into three racks. Or to three racks factory. We'll see. Maybe a change of plans for uh, Mr. Oliveira now. Is a two racks Reaper opener. Could be a 2 one, one. We'll see. Uh, if I was to guess, it might be three racks factory. Or just straight up three racks. Usually, but on Korean servers, and I mean, time is a Chinese player, but nonetheless, so whatever. I kind of like these textures. What a weird way to look at this, though. This is a little disorienting, but I do like the, the textures there on this map. It's pretty, pretty cool stuff. And this is the map that I believe, oh no, maybe not. I don't know. There, there was something funny with the, the Rattata. Australia game we covered on EPT Americas. Don't worry, I've abused zero times. The map names are definitely cheeky. I would agree, guys. This is a... Uh... But I do like the, the uh, look of this map. The aesthetics are certainly good, at least. Pretty cool stuff. Good job, designers. All right. Two adepts are out to fight the Reapers. Oh, he's going to eat the grenade, though. So I think that technically did a little bit of uh, health damage to the adept. As they're not robotic units. This is going to be a Stargate opener again for Mr. Hero. Four Reapers coming on out trying to get some value. Eh, we'll see. Shade's going to finish. Oh, does get a Reaper. All right, so the follow-up is going to be at least a factory. So are we going to see a 2 one one or a 3 racks? That's the question. It is going to be a 2 one one So a Marine Widow Mine drop after. He's obviously going to drop another racks at some point here. But uh, this is definitely a time kind of play. 
Nate Diggity, the Zerg Cabal. The Zerg Cabal memes are real. And now I I asked Yeti and stuff yesterday. I missed it because I guess that old man Dave doesn't read enough Reddit and, you know, I'll go on to Twitter. And then I saw it after, yeah, it's, it was over Nathanius's tweet. I'm like, I have a feeling it's about Nathanius's tweet. Sure enough. Now, all he, it created a great amount of memory, that's for sure. What if it was the Zerg Shabal? <clears throat> Actually, that's going to be a meme I'm going to make. The Zerg Shabal. I might post it to Reddit because it'll be funny. Because I never do that. Oh my god. Speaking of Shabal, there goes an Oracle. Adept's getting some good pressure, though. Keeping Oliveira busy, but still losing a whole Oracle right there is rough. It's the little bits and pieces getting taken a, a part of time here. I mean, Oliveira. I have his name spelled wrong, I'm aware. Oh, gosh. Oracle doing a lot of damage, but taking a lot of damage. He's trying to make up for the other one, just being annoying. Keeping uh, Oliveira back. On a 2 on one push, that's actually big. Every Marine picked off, every Widow Mine killed. That's Noot. It makes it a little bit less impactful of a drop. Yeah. Technically, in terms of numbers, it was favoring our Protoss players. He's going in with three Oracles. And he's going to jump on the tank with the Oracles. You don't see that every day, folks. That's going to leave a mark. Kills a tank. Delays the eBay. Gets a couple workers here and there. The tank was the biggest pickoff. Picking off reinforcing Marines. It's just a... Oh, but there's nothing here to defend this drop. Slow Zealots morphing in. There's a Phoenix. And that's about it. Shield battery going to help for a bit. But man, somebody's regretting making those uh, slow Zealots right now. And his name's Hero. That said, Hero is going to chase this down. He's got his Oracles. Don't have much energy. But he's trying to scare away Oliveira. I just quit if the probes microed so much. <laughs> Roo, Boy Scout. Uh, yeah, so anyway, charge is coming down. We do have the Templar Archives on its way for Mr. Hero. Again, playing a similar style. It's funny. I really would like to see him play a more Forge follow-up. Kind of get in, into it from how he's been playing. Uh, the upgrades being a little speedier with this patch. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh, he's going to go engage the missile turret. Not like this. Taking some more hull damage. I think Hero's being a little greedy. Try to get these picks. The bio is going to chase on top of it. Stem is done. Combat shield is going to finish pretty soon. Charge is on the way. We'll see what happens. Hero going to drop some more gates. Pace of this game is definitely a little different. Both games kind of scrappy for the level. Uh, but these guys are monsters of micro. So with that said, we'll see what happens here. Ooh, nice set of gates coming in. We're going to have the gate explosion pretty soon. Not so many at the moment. But we do have the robotics facility again. Poor hero. He's going into storm. So the faster high Templar is one thing to note about the patch. For those of you guys that don't know, they move around just slightly faster. So they kind of keep up with the army a little more. And we don't no longer have enhanced shockwave. But for that, Ghost are do have an increased radius of EMP, so it kind of meets halfway in the middle without the need of that upgrade. At the same time, not making it as powerful in the late game. Oh my gosh, look at this from Hero. He's got probes everywhere. He's dropping pylons. He's got a proxy gate. This is Hero if we ever see him. But he has no upgrades. He's going to have Storm. He's going against Concussive Shell Marauders. Drops going out. Funnily enough, they, oh, it will... Ah, this is interesting. I wonder if uh, Oliveira is anticipating a hero-style proxy. I guarantee it. Oracles are out. And I think this proxy's in jeopardy. Oh, Chargy boys are going to catch this. Oracles coming back. Maybe getting rev tag. They're going to keep eyes on this bit of the army. They had a rev tag before. Oh, he needs to keep these oracles alive. They could be good for stasis wards. They could be good for rev tags. They could be good for some all sorts of things. The Phoenix is in the charge lots in the Arch... Uh, oh, no Archons coming in, but there's going to be Ghost out, so EMP is a little better. But that said, look, you can see the difference in the high Templar speed. It's They're still slow. They seem so much zippier because they're so painfully slow normally. 
Oh no, oh Widow Mines getting triggered and at the same time getting deactivated at the same time. Oh, beautiful EMP! That's exactly what I'm talking about. The radius nat is better than it was. Just it, can't, it doesn't get any more than that still. Ooh, nice rev tag from Hero. All right, with that said, we do have four High Templar lifted. and one going out for a Stormy Boy. Oh, he doesn't have Storm available. He's going to lose the High Templar. Phoenix is going to pick up a Marauder. Not too bad of a pick. He wants to chisel at these power units. Blink out of the way. No upgrades for Hero. He's got proxies everywhere. What the hell? Hero with another proxy. As I like to call him as we talked about earlier. The re-proxy. He's got a proxy here, a proxy pylon, and a probe here, a proxy here, a pylon here. What is Hero doing? He's taking a fourth base. That's what he's doing. He's building two forges. Why the fuck would he take two forges on the fourth? Game paused. Oliveira's like... He's got a little lag, but it's all right. Bear with me, guys. Uh, Oliveira does call a timeout. <clears throat> the patch was not released. The players are playing on them on mods. And, and the, the custom maps, it's all through custom maps when you do tournaments. And uh, it, there's a mod for this that they're playing on. So it's not actually on the ladder. Here we go. And the fight's coming in. Hero looking in much better shape this game, I'd say. Despite the upgrade deficit. Look at the numbers. 75 to 58. Army supply. Medivac's getting drained. Archon kind of getting some rough targeting. But look at those storm drops. Pulverizing. Hero's doing it. And man, uh, GG, Hero coming back with a game. Let's go. Moving on to game three in just a little bit. Uh, man, that is quite the comeback from every Protoss's hero, you might say. What a sick game number two. Uh, first game was obviously fucking great, too. But we're moving light, right along. Should probably watch my language a bit. But... Meh. Here we go, game number three. Score is 1-1. One, one. Let's hack and go, gamers. Let's hack and go. Onward and upward. All right, already we got another one coming in. A base game number three. This time we're on match point. This is the upper bracket semifinals. Spawning in the upper left hand corner of Babylon this time. Give it up for our blue Protoss player from Dragon Phoenix Gaming. It is none other than Hero. And his opponent in the bottom right, representing Kitesy Gaming. Give it up for Oliveira in the red. Mamma Mia. It's going to be a spicy pizzeria here. Is Hero going to open the same way again? It's so funny with the changes. Uh, a buff to the forge, and it's not even used. Hero doing hero things that last game. We had proxies everywhere. At the end of it, that was a a spicy game for sure. And yes, Chad, I am taking notes. Skill lot micro. I mean, yeah, hey, that was some crazy stuff. Lots of micro going on from both players for the whole first freaking six minutes of the game, I'd say. And then it kept going. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm thinking I'm seeing some saltiness in chat from Blank. Could be wrong. Uh, anyway, with that said, we are going to have the barracks rallying back from Oliveira to his mineral line. Wait a second, there's no scout this game. All right, so Oliveira is a little, he, he's not buying it. 
Hero's just playing a next... No, he's playing a straight game. Oh my god, this is a blind zealot. There is going to be a reaper. Okay. It's the zealot. Is Hero going to take a trip to Princeton University? I think so. It is a reaper opener. Uh, and it is going to be defensive at that. So I think this might be a couple of Reaper. No, it's just, yeah, he's going to the Reactor Factory. Might be a 1-1-1 this game. Oliveira looking for a proxy over there. Zealot just going on standard path-ish. Maybe he deviated from the path. I'm not quite sure because new maps and all. Oh, he did deviate from the path, and the Reaper is going to ultimately find it. Unluckily for Mr. Hero. Oh, still some good Zealot micro. Followed by good Reaper micro, but I mean, obviously a Reaper and a Zealot. The Reaper should just win. Still, by in time, the Adept's going to shade over. I don't think the CC is going to be delayed. So, not much else here. It is going to be a Stargate opener again. Warp Gate follow-up. Looking pretty uh, similar to uh, the previous games. Yeah, this is not enough stopping power for the Adept. Unfortunately, look at that. Just a hair off, and it would have taken out that darn CC making SDV. Hellion is out, so it is going to be a 1-1-1 build. With the Tech Lab follow-up in the factory, the Adept doesn't get the scout. Is it going to survive, though? Looks like it is in a lot of trouble. Is barely going to make it out for now. Hellion's going to go hack it down to chase it. The Hackian. The Hackian and the Reaper go across the map. And it's not going to be Widow Mines this game, at least so we think. It's going to be a Cyclone from Alivera. All right, we'll see what happens next. Ooh, both Adepts are back. Uh, or the extra one's added. They're going to shade across to the other side catch both oh that was great control from hero he lost the zealot and attempt though no probes kind of funny trades here uh cyclone and viking out's gonna make sure work of the oracle hopefully hero doesn't i hope he doesn't go over committal to oracles this game because this is the kind of stuff where you don't want the yeah he's gonna have the second one and it might just be a toss because there's a viking and a cyclone the adepts are gonna go put pressure too i do like that and meanwhile hero Posturing to take a third base. He does have two gates coming this time. I think we're going to see more of the same. Hero changing up his play style. Oof. Cyclone does have plus. Okay, guys, so here's an experience of the patches uh, in action. So if you notice, the Cyclone did more damage to that Adept. And was consequently able to take it out. Before, it was plus 20 damage to armored units. And Adept being light, it's now plus 10 to all. So it's kind of a buff to little situations like that. It does have other problems where you do the Cyclone against something armored. Uh, so it is going to be a different ballpark, a different ball game with Cyclones in general. Uh, other than just TVT. And kind of openers like this with a 1-1-1 one, one, one where you go to a tech lab against Stargate and, and TVP and obviously some some Tangs and TBZ. Ooh, Cyclone get... Or Cyclone. Oracle getting some good damage done. Is softening up some SCVs. Being annoying. Does catch five, but can he retreat? Is going to be able to do so for the moment. There's a Viking out somewhere. Ooh, another Oracle in the natural. Heroes just finding all sorts of damage today. He's going into Phoenix's behind it, but not quite going on to any other tech. Yeah, he hasn't dropped the Templar archives just yet. Oh my gosh, this Oracle's barely hiding. Oh no! Not like this. I thought Hero would be for sure be safe. But that is going down. He did get a lot of workers done, but I think oh, both of them have left the building. Oh, Cyclone goes down. It's one less power unit. Now there's the Widow Mines. Marines coming, Stamina coming, Combat Shields coming, plus one coming. But Protoss, Mr. Hero is just on gateway tech and only has phoenixes. No charge. No nada. And yeah, so he's not going to blink. He's going to sack a stalker to kill this widow mine? I don't think that's worth it. He is going to jump on top of a lot of this. Does he get the Viking? He gets the Viking too. Phoenix coming back in. Uh, is going to be helpful for a few things. Maybe even miss target fire for Marines and get, allow some DPS from the Stalkers to the Marines. Oh yeah, but he's losing, and I don't know about this game, Mr. Hero. These trades are really weird. Hero's being aggressive, but he, I, yeah, he's traded out 
very efficiently, I'd say, considering the 15 SCVs went down, but the problem is never underestimate the power of a two-base Terran. Medivacs are out. He, oh, he gets a supply depot blocked for a bit. It's actually kind of big. Oh, here comes two more Widow Mines. One to just get cleaned up, the other picked up. Is going to actually help Hero quite a bit. Hero's getting a Twilight Council and Forge behind this. One of the Medivacs going to fall. Oh my god, Hero. Playing so Hero, that's all I can say. Who else plays like this? Insane. The trades now it's tipping a little more favorable to our Terran friend, uh, Mr. Oliveira, in terms of what was thrown away by Hero. But look at, he got so much damage done on the economy and put a lot of stopping power under the push. And the Phoenix is still oh, catching another Medivax huge. So we have charge and plus one armor on the way. But I think uh, Oliveira knows he's going to have to try to get something done or keep Mr. Hero busy. Losing so many medevacs, I think, is where that's kind of worth it for our Protoss player. And again, the power units, it's even the Viking was all nice stuff. Behind this, Hero is slowly building up a massive army. Just a bit. Kind of an awkward position against the Terran to have your tech, though. Charge and plus one armor again are the uh, the tech choice here. Two Widow Mines. Ooh, 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 that's scary. Those could get some good value. Uh, but I think they're probably just going to be walked into the third while an engagement happens, if I was to guess. Charge not quite finished yet. Widow Mines are picked up. Charge is going to finish right here, though. And plus one ground armor on the way. We are seeing it finish up a little bit more, but infantry armor plus one finishing for a Terran. He does have that plus one infantry armor as well. And yeah, we'll see what happens here. Oh, here we go. That's what I was talking about. Oof, two zealots fall, two severely injured. Those cheeky widow mines are going to be cleaned up after at least. Fourth base going down for Hero at the nine minute mark. And uh, we'll see what happens. No further upgrades. He is going into High Templar. We don't see Stormy Boys. Goes coming concussive shell for Oliveira. And damn, what a humdinger of a game. Elephant Man, is that the... an updated one? There is a place to do it. I guess. Rentree.co. There is a, an official spot, but I... Uh, I don't know. I've not updated it a bit. It's close enough. It's a little old news patch information. Fourth base is scanned there, but that's not where Hero is taking it. So maybe he thinks he's okay and on even bases, but it's not the case. Oh, four widow mines going down. Workers getting chiseled away. The Phoenix is being damn annoying. And it is, considering the composition for Oliveira, that's actually really good for Hero. Still a damn lot of Widow Mines. We do have some Ghost out with some EMPs available and some tar uh, steady targeting available as well. Medivac's getting cleaned up. Zealot's getting taken down. But there's not a lot of energy here. GG is called and Hero is going to advance. Very well played by Hero. He is going to advance to the finals. Let's take a look at the bracket. Very cool stuff. My man Hero has advanced Scarlet versus Dark going on the lower bracket side. Scarlet 2-0 and Gumiho, Dark 2 and Woming. Nice. Damn. So we have to wait for what's going on in the other series. I'm going to take a look at Steadfast Stream and see what's going on, I believe. I believe uh, we'll have an idea what's going on two minutes in the future. Oh, Scarlet is up. Scarlet's up a map. We may have another game, but they're still ongoing. Seven minutes in, Scarlet's down on supply, but she won the first game. Very cool shit. That, how amazing would it be to see a Hero Scarlet Finals? That's all I'm going to say, chat. Give me just a minute as I use the bathroom. And uh, we'll see what's happening. Those two seem like they're in a game. It's the Roach Wars. 
Uh, if you want to catch the action there, I do I do know that Steadfast is covered that. Bale Wolf maybe as well, but I thought he was in the lobby with us on this one. All right, guys, I don't know what's going on just yet. We shall see. Uh, I don't know if something happened. But yeah, it looked like they had a technical issue. So they resumed from replay. 1-1, one, one, Scarlet versus Dark, and I missed the fucking... Oh, they didn't wait for us. They didn't wait for us. Versus winner. So it's Hero versus the winner of Scarlet and Dark. Yeah, they let the Cranky Ducklings, Chicken Man, Chicken Man the Cranky Ducklings and I out. Yeah, that was like pretty quick. We were bamboozled. We were bamboozled, folks. Still great games tonight. Uh, hope we can catch some more in a bit. We'll see how long this game goes. This is EVZ. Could go either way. Cool series. Could go in either direction. Time, I mean, Oliveira has been on fire, but Hero coming in strong. You know, Dave's a little happy right now. See what happens as we go along here. All right, guys. Unfortunately, some of us missed out on the other one, but that's okay. We got a little more to come. And uh, we'll see what happens. Guys, I'm going to stay. I got to spend some time working on the production here. This week, I'm doing it. Amongst other things, I'm making a list of shit to do. One of them on this old ass drawing pad, which friends of mine drew at my house when I was in. Like, I, this thing goes back forever. It goes back to like when I was 
in like middle school. I don't even know why I have this thing. Do I even have a pen or anything right here? Naturally, I don't. So look at look, look at this. That's how old this thing is. You know what I'm gonna say? Just found a bottle of Jameson. Nice, I am cheese. I'm drinking uh, Coca-Cola out of a Bud Light can. This is labeled Bud Light. See? At least that's my official statement for uh, ESL. Alrighty. So I'm going to make my list of stuff. Production stuff. So what we need is, I think I need to start doing clips. And replays. Like instant replays of stuff from the previous match. Elephant man's on the Miller lights. No waste, dude. Dude, swim with the pog squirrel. Uh, I want to do some kind of player picture thing. Kind of like Bayo and Fear Dragon have. Just because I feel like I have the ability to do it, guys. Player pick. And stuff. I just need to find out how to script it from there where I can just easily dump it in based on the stream title or something. Um, yeah, a little Bud Light or Reno. But I, I definitely can put some stuff in it. My thought is to draw other the pic other the pictures of the players. Scarlet 2 0 win. Based. We're going on to Hero versus Scarlet. Hero versus Scarlet! I fucking called it. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Hero versus Scarlet Finals. Let's go. Bitburger. Nice. I'm fucking stoked. We have a change of pace in the finals. We're Satan's savior. Message him. Acknowledge Kirktown, not to test it. I mean, I don't know. It's uh, Kirktown. It's Kirktown on this stream, but it's not like every cast, everybody's got their stuff. This is fucking sick. I have totally called this one. Oh, dark. Oh, no, it's dark.
I misread it. Damn it. I was really hoping, but still, the Scarlet came damn close. I was all excited. Dark lit. Yeah, now we got dark instead of scarlet. Sorry, guys. Good job, Dave. Yeah, nothing we could have done better there, egg boys and girls. I was all excited, and then I read the message again. I go, shit, I just made a tweet about it. This should be a banger of a series still. New patch, PVZ. Thank God I covered this side. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a little tired of covering TVTs mostly in on EPT cups every week. Like I like to, I like to do it, but to change it up is nice. Like I've not been having tournaments every week, so it's not like we catch a lot of Protoss as much on most of the tournaments. It's been a variety. I like that, but I am feeling like we needed some of this side tonight. Packet of gummies. What kind of gummies are you talking? I am cheese. I think if you need a snack, and go for it. But, you know, guys, this is the finals. Fuck, I screwed up on that. Anyway, who cares? Spawning in the upper right-hand corner because we got good StarCraft either way. Give it up for Dragon Phoenix Gaming's hero in the red. And his opponent in the bottom left. Give it up for Dragon Phoenix Gaming's dark. I mean, I care. I wanted Scarlet to be in. But miss about the mistakes, shit happens. How you doing, Nolio? That's a feels bad, man. I was all hyped like you guys were. That's why I'm just trying to make us all less disappointed from a misread. I actually think Hero and Scarlet would be cool too, but this is obviously Hero and Dark is Omega based. Still, Scarlet did walk away with $50 from tonight, as did Oliveira. Uh, so, very cool, short but sweet tournament. Possibly, but this is a best of five of PVZ, so this can go on for quite a while. We'll see. Now, if Hero does his custom patented trademark double forge build on the new patch, that could be pretty strong. With forge upgrades finishing faster... We're going to see some very punchy stalkers and sell it with if he goes double forward 1-1. One, one. Hero gets a wall. Okay. He is getting for a gate core wall arena. Simulator going down. And uh, I do like the overlord pathing from Mr. Dark. There are pervert pillars in this map, so does have some spots to retreat to. He's going to have both out the scout. This is likely to be a Stargate build, obviously, with where the location of the pylon is, but serving another purpose for some ground for Nidus play from Dark, which, you know, Dark is a man of many cheekiness. Going for the metabolic boost before second hatch. And he is uh, completely pulled off gas with that. He is just going for the four ling opener, though. He's not going for the six lings like uh, Solar does. Fucking A. Yeah, going to be the old Oracle shenanigans from Mr. Mr. Hero, most likely. He does change it up sometimes. He could go Void, but I'm thinking he is going to go Oracle and stick to the Hero build. Or something like that. He is hero after all. But it is just one gate stargate in this case. So a little deviation. Probe scouting that the Nat was taken a lot later. He knows metabolic boost should be, he should know metabolic boost is coming to it up shading back. Is yeah, that probe is gonna go on location to try to take the Nexus. Ooh, Lings look at Dark already starting to chill at the rocks.
Well, be prepared for a lot of zergs on this map pool, Kappa. <laughs> All the memes. I mean, it is pretty funny. Ooh, I like this harass from Hero. The Oracle coming in on the side, the Adepts catching some workers on the other. Does lose both Adepts, but puts that pressure on getting six workers pretty early. It's kind of nice for Hero who's going for that early third. Oh, so sexy. Getting his double gas behind it. I'm not so sure where we're at just yet. But there's going to be a lot of links here. Not a ton of uh, Oracle energy yet. And again, only the first gate is out. So decisions have to be made from both of them. It's a good amount of links, but not a ton. Still, only one Adept in the wall. Only one in defense, but the shield battery is allowed to finish, and the third Oracle is out. It's going to be pretty nice for hero for defense, so Dark's forced to disengage. That said, it is just going to be one Twilight and one Forge for now. So I'm curious to see how this plays out. Dark going to go back to chiseling at the rocks. Three Oracles. Going to get some damage on a Queen. He's going to go for it. He's going to trade on an Oracle, though. That's not worth it, but he's going to try to get some drones for his trouble. Does catch four and is going to disengage. All right, is this going to be Blinky Boys or Chargy Boys? That's the question. Dark uh, forced the drone up a little more than he wanted to. Well, I mean, he obviously want to drone up, but hasn't really advanced on tech yet. Does have double gas in the main. Uh, and just relying on queens for defense. He's just now going to go into the lair. No Evo chamber was started yet. He's probably going to now. Okay, a Roach Warren. A Roach Evo follow-up. Again, Hero losing one of those oracles. Not the greatest for him, but he's going to just build another. He's going charge. Plus one ground weapons. He's going for a chargey boy attack. This could be a bit of a problem if there's no, like, Archon transition uh, with it. If Hero sticks to his pride and true style. I like the shield battery. He's even got a photon cannon in the third. Uh, no one here, though, he's going to try to get some... He doesn't have any stasis wards up yet. But he, he's doing some good job mitigating some damage. He's behind on workers at this point, obviously. But still... He has been pumping out some units. Oh my god, this is five oracles? So Hero's going into mass oracle charge. And does have the Templar archives behind this. Okay, charge is going to finish here. And Hero is just going to try to get some pressure on this hatchery. Zealot's going to get a surround in the queen. Five oracles coming in clutch. Going to try to body the queens. A lot of them falling. And, oh, one of the oracles does go down. But, oh, my God, all the queens die that are out. Oracle is going to go chase down some roaches. It is charged a lot, so it's not exactly your ideal situation to fend off the incoming Zergy boys. Especially the roaches. The zeal zealots will do fine against the lings. Um, that said, a Hydra den is coming down with ranged attacks. None of us are surprised. Hydras have been buffed on the patch <clears throat> with muscular augments anyway. Uh, but there's a ton of oracles still out. Another one. Yeah, this is wild. Hero hammering out those oracles. Blink is on the way. We do have probably plus two coming behind it. Hero not in a rush to get a fourth base because he knows Dark's playing very aggressively after that. 66 drones. <clears throat> it means Dark's probably going to hammer on production. But Hero, uh, he's going to throw an oracle. I don't like this. Hero. Oh, does disengage just in time. That's a very damaged Oracle. Just a bunch of links here to put pressure on. Ooh, Hero going to take this base, but guess what? There's a lot of links that are going to not deny it. Unluckily for Mr. Hero. Yo, oh, he catches on, disengages at least. Links are going to come out. And the Archon gets a nice blast in the front. Charge lots are going to deny it. And uh, Hero just pulling a probe uh, right after him when he knows it's safe. Still in a fantastic spot. Lots of roaches breaking the rocks. Hydra's coming behind it, going into group spines. Hero going to go try to get some vision with these oracles. He's going to probably want Storm. He's going to see the Hydra's. Kind of know something's up here from the rest of it. Curious to see how this plays out. This is uh, certainly going to be a banger as it goes on, but pretty spicy stuff so far. Okay, Sonic Storm from Hero. Do like this. He's going to start morphing in some high Templars soon. He's got double gas saturation at the third as well. And the roaches are going to be a bit of a problem. So 
All right, the oracles are going to try to find some value somewhere, hoping to get a few stray units. Ooh, he's going right for the queens again. Forcing the hydras in retreat, but he loses two oracles. Oracles are so expensive, not like this hero. Oh, and the spore crawler is even very unlucky. Hero's going to try to regroup and get some momentum. He's kind of out of position. We have another Archon forming. Two Immortals, a bunch of charge lots. It's a lot of roaches. He doesn't have any Stormy Boys out. Storm's not done yet. We have no Stasis Wards. Well, Static Defense is coming, and we will have a Battery Overcharge available, but he wouldn't want to use it on that frontward one anyway. Archon's in an awkward position, or Immortal's in an awkward position. We're uh, fighting the Hydras rather than the Roaches. That's a lot of fucking Zerg. All right. GG. Dark just takes it. Scrappy game number one. And this best of five finals. Very cool stuff. I need some water. Excellent. All right, guys, moving on to game number two. And here we are, folks. Spawning in the bottom right-hand corner of Babylon, representing Dragon Phoenix Gaming, it is Hero. I don't know, he's playing on his barcode Hero account. <laughs> and his opponent in the upper left, representing Dragon Phoenix Gaming, it is Dark. In the blue trunks. Hero going for a pylon scout. Dark not going for a 12 pool. That doesn't mean it's not going to be a pull first just yet. Probably not, but we'll see. Can be going for a 16 pool. He's not. And uh, Hero may just get this block. He is going to force Triangle Third to be taken by Dark. Hero just sending the probe down to confirm it. But it goes down. Guess what? Didn't matter. Dark still was able to take his natural. Cheeky play from Dark. That was a debate if I ever saw one. And let's see here. Am I? Well, guys. The Zerg Kapal strikes again. Chicken Man starts it. Oh, man, Chicken Man. Let's go. More like Zerg Shabal internet. Rip chase from the Cranky Ducklings. God, I wish we could joke around like this in ESL. I was going to say smoke him if you got him. Anyway, Chase has left the game, unfortunately. Moving on. That was a DC. Unfortunately, nothing you can do when that happens. We'll see what happens here. If you got like a hot disconnect, it just fortunately puts that in.
All right, guys. Here he's at it again. Hero with a menacing probe micro. But he's doing it against the Zerg this time. This be a little scary. He is forcing responses, that's for sure. Look at this. Look at this guy. Heroes like Dennis the Menace with probes. Right? How you doing, Sunday vibing? <laughs> Oh, man, this is too funny. Probe uh, chasing her down all around, all around. Well, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Lings are going to get it. Lings are going to get it. Ling oh, no block on the third. That's about all she wrote there. Looking like another Stargate opener from Hero. Not surprisingly, going into Warp Gate immediately after. Uh, well... I'd like to see Hero not emphasize on too many oracles this game. Like that early. Because when you're playing against a guy like Dark, I mean, he found some great value. Don't get me wrong. He killed queens left and right. But I think it didn't allow him to get that that uh, nice uh, gateway unit explosion transition a little earlier. And usually has like a really fast four, saturates up. He just pumps out gateways. So it's just overwhelming Protoss swarm. Like a Zerg army numbers. He's going to open with a Phoenix first and then the Oracle. I do like this variety. Oracle's going to be scouted as the foul up though, but these overlords are going to be a thing of the past. So, it's something. That said, Hero is going to posture to take his third base pretty nice and early. He's going to go back, double back around for the Overlord. Oracle is going to make its way out, try to get some information, maybe get some damage. Uh, is this going to be a very fast fourth base from Dark? Hmm. I think it is, folks. Dark's going for a pretty early fourth. Yes, he is. Interesting. So, Dark in essence doing something like Hero would do, but as a Zerg. So, he's going for a fast as hell fourth base. I uh, definitely love to see it. Little shift in dynamics from super aggressive dark. It could mean super aggressive at dark still. But it could mean super greedy dark. And that would be kind of a cool game to see. Super greedy versus super greedy. But we'll see what happens. Twilight Forge again from Hero. Just a singular Forge variant of the build. Uh, and three drones fell. Oracle catching five, six. All right, six are pretty good. I think it's almost worth, but he's going to lose that Oracle almost for sure. No, he just gets away. Oracle escapes with four HP. But that said, the other Oracle... How many works? Oh, no, it was both collectively, cumulatively doing it. Okay, we have a third Oracle coming. The Phoenix coming in as well. And yeah, Phoenix is going to win for a scout. Try to get some information. He's going to be Roach Warren and Evo again from Dark, but he's taking two more gases. He's got four. Is Dark going to do a sh cheeky shift of gears? Or are we going to see something else? I was almost thinking maybe he's going to go into Mutas and put, throw us off guard. Hero is going into Blink Stalkers. So that is kind of nice. Considering Dark's going ranged attacks. And Roach is with Leal Reconstitution. So he's got the Roach speed. All right, Oracle on the uh, westward side going out to try to find some value. He's going to scout this base is done. And if he sees any saturation, he, yeah, he should know this is an earlier hatch. Phoenix going to go try to get the Overlord into debate. The Queens, he's going to catch even more worker kills with this Oracle. That's a fresh Oracle that's taking some damage as well. Will he get that Overlord? The answer is absolutely. Two more oracles going back to try to get some value. But there is a spore crawler here. These are both very injured. Does catch a couple of drones. Beautiful oracle micro. And uh, yeah, Hero's going for a fourth base of zone. This is what I want to see out of Hero. Like I was saying, I do like this. It's a style he's very comfortable in playing in. He's kept Dark down on workers a little bit, but Dark is at 69 workers, which is pretty nice. Dark is going to sniff out that it's Blink Stalkers, however.
Oof. Wow, that Phoenix uh, got three Overlords, so I guess if it goes down, it was worth it, kinda. But it also got a lot of scouting information, I guess. And all these roaches are coming out. It's gonna be Tunneling Claws roaches. These oracles are gonna be invaluable. We do have a Photon Cannon and a Nat, and a third base. But uh, aside from that, it's just the oracle, so this is putting more pressure on Mona Me Hero to uh, keep these oracles alive. Multi-prong attack attempted from Dark. I like this. Dark's breaking the rocks on two fronts. Very good stuff from Mr. Dark. Hero's kind of like got a wall for bailing bus, but this is like a big roach headbutt from Dark. Something, as we all know, he likes to do from time to time. Hero's going to need these oracles back home, and I think Queens are even going to be at the doorstep, potentially. Uh, yeah, he's going to need something else. And by that, I mean... A robo shift is very much needed. Yeah, Hero has no idea that's what's coming on the right flank. Oh, does he? He's, he's sniffing it out. Okay, Hero's trying to keep this creep spread at bay. But the tunneling clause is going to be a pain in the behind for him. No robotics facility at all. He is on double forge. Uh, going into charge follow-up. Oh, no. The roaches. Well, they're going to be scouted by the photon cannon. So he might know they're everywhere. This is going to be a problem for Hero. Is he going to go down this game? It's going to be a lot of damage from Dark. He split Roaches in four positions. Attacking the third, the natural, and the main, and, and an army in the front. Recall is forced into the main base with Oracles and Stalkers. But you know what? That said, there just ain't no detection. 38 workers fell in an instant. That's such a greasy play. Absolutely greasy play from Dark. Hero's just losing like all of his economy. What a filthy Zerg maneuver if I ever saw one. The Zerg Cabal strikes. <laughs> I'm going with that meme now because there's so many uses for it. Okay, nothing we could have done better with these overlords, so oh, Dark is going to throw away overlords. He's like, I don't care. I had took an early fourth base. Mwahaha. My opponent took an early fourth. We have an early fourth. Hero being a Chad, not even going for a robotics facility. Even though he's disjointed on mining and more, roaches are just going to keep getting worker damage. He's going to continue to make oracles, probably. Ooh, he's cleaning up some of these roaches. But there's just going to be insane amounts of roaches all through it. Hero stopped pro production. He's down to 39 workers, but Dark is chilling at 69, taking a fifth hatch. The Hero's... Oh, my God. Yeah, it's going to be the Dark Infester play, too. Hero's really going to need disruptors, and he's not going to be able to get them. Dark even putting some pressure uh, down here in the minimap, but I'm not going to go to show it. Do you guys see those two blue... Dots, those are roaches. Attacking Hero's fourth base. Cleaning up the gases. Hero's gonna make something happen on the other side of the map. He's gonna try to. He does have a power spike coming in even more. As ground weapons plus three come in shortly. They did complete. Queens are gonna help transfuse though. It's just pure stalkers. He's trying to warp in zealots. The roach is kind of disjointed over here. Zelly Boy is going to try to fight him. Does Dark micro this? Well, that's actually kind of an awkward fight. Like I said, a little underwhelming, but Hero's just trying to save that. Still, he's got to get miracles done with not a lot. Roach is continuously in production. Rev tags constantly being forced. And, yeah, this is a rough spot for Hero to be in. He's morphing in more Zealots. If he could take out a base on the side, it could buy him some breathing room to uh, get some probes, I guess, but he just wants to end it. Dark's on another base, too, behind this. Oh, my God. The tunneling claws of roaches escaping. Drones even hiding with the burrow. Broodling's uh, not going to get haul damage on that guy. Zealot's going to come in to uh, cause a little bit of a flank here in choke point. Stalker's fighting off the drones. Drones are forced to burrow. We do have a nice rev tag on some of this. And let's see. Hero pushing on a couple fights, uh, fronts on a choke point. Drones are being pulled into this. 
to mess with the uh, target firing. If Hero, Hero is not mining anything else other than what he has out on the map. And no gas saturation, really. He has one... Yeah, he's not been mining much gas. Trying to get whatever damage he can with these zealots. I think Hero should have been building some probes behind this, if nothing else. He did... Well, it's 43 to 54 workers, so killing the hatch does help a bit. Did get some good drone kills, but now Dark is going to have another scary army. Hero did lose quite a few oracles, so that's uh, certainly a little crazy. Why so few people? Uh, EPT Asia, Pashka, usually doesn't have a lot of players every week. It, it's usually the same thing. A, uh, the Korean... An Asian Cup usually doesn't have a really high turnout. I've seen it as low as like 12 people signing up at times. And sometimes it's because of GSL and stuff. Oh, that said, nice defense for Hero. Hero's fighting hard to come back into this game and he's trying to use his resources wisely. He still hasn't fixed gas saturations because he, well, he wanted to mine as much minerals as he could. So I guess that was smart. Uh, but he did lose gases over here even. So even if he wants to saturate him, he, yeah, he's got places too. Now he's going to start fixing satch in a couple spots to get more gas. Infestor's on the way for Dark, who's been leading that income advantage and uh, army supply advantage, obviously, for quite a while. But Hero did buy himself some breathing room a little. He's just now getting a robo facility 13 minutes and 57 seconds into the game. But now that Lings are out, this is going to be a bit of a problem for Hero. These stalkers are looking pretty defenseless. As the lings and the roaches go in. But Hero's trying to go get a surround on a hatchery. He's trying to get a recall. He saves, well, a good number of the stalkers. And he does take out the third hatch. He catches an infester. Hero trying to get whatever he can done for economic damage. He's microing his heart out here. Trying to get the zealot run by to get some more damage yet. Still decent trades. Crazy game. I thought Hero might have been dead for a while, but very decisive strategies and very good micro uh, from both players, truthfully. All right. Blink Stalker is going to go back. We'll see what happens. All right. Uh, corrosive Files not going to catch too much. Aggressive blank forward from Hero is going to help a bit. Battery overcharge is going to go down a bit. Oh, the fungal is going to trap the stalkers. Not a lot here from Hero to hold. He's going to try to do God's work with these oracles. The immortals, unfortunately, getting taken down. And all his eggs are in one basket. That's two robotics facilities in the same location. Pylon getting targeted down. One of them was depowered. Oh, no, he just didn't have the money. 17 workers falling for Hero. He's already a little... In some troubling position. And now these infestors out. Getting a uh, fungal on the oracle even is not what Hero was hoping for. He's going for an observer finally. Able to get that. It's 57 to foreign. Uh, 42 workers. Hmm. Okay, disruptors are out. But now we're going into Neuroparasite Town for Dark. You bet Hero's going to 3-2 Dark. Okay, I could see that, possibly. Hero is actually getting some work done this game, though, in surprising manners. Uh, that said, we'll have to see what happens. Wait, what was that, an oracle? No. All right, disruptors are coming out, though. Problem's going to be the fungals. Dark is still committing down to the very high link comp, but it's getting a lot of infestors. Six more in production. Oracle's still out trying to find some work. But we'll see what happens. Dark li or Hero literally just building disruptors. Dark going into Carapace plus two. Oh, Hero was trying to debate the roaches out. He wants to uh, land some juicy disruptors. 
He wants some juicy purification, Novas. Let's see if he can get some. We want to see some bugs go splat. What do you think, chat? Oh, beautiful blink from Hero. Ooh. And a nice uh, transfuse from Dark, at that said. Almost snipes that Rav. Just a little bit off on DPS. Disruptor's going out. Does he get it? Oh! He gets an Infester. He gets a good shot on the other side. Catches some roaches on the other. There's still more Disruptors out. He's trying to destroy Dark. Oh, no! Oh, no! That was a fresh Nova! The Neural Parasite on the Disruptor's huge. Dark getting some good value. Hero did not need that. That was a juicy Nova. Ironic and friendly fire from the Neural Parasite. Good control from Dark. Hero, unfortunately, finding his own zealots in this. Another uh, disruptor coming behind, but he does catch that third base again. Immortal is Neural Parasited, but is going to go down. All right. This is a crazy game. Hero still on four bases. Does catch some collateral damage over here. This is nuts. The game's still going. Chat say the game's not. I can tell you right now, it's still got some plays. But I think Hero's in a good spot. Dark's lost a bunch of Infestors. He still has some. I, uh, the Hero's just got so many Disruptors out. He's not producing anything else. But he does have a bunch of Stalkers. I'm surprised he didn't build a Warp for them, but Hero takes it. In game number two, and probably that was one of the cooler games of the night. Wow. That was really cool stuff. That seemed like such an annoying game to play. You feel like anyone except Hero there would be dead? Uh, I could see some other players. You're going to laugh at me, but... Uh, it's going to sound silly, but if you had the time to practice on things... I could honestly see Neeb actually doing pretty well against that style. But in that from that position, exactly. Hero is probably the only one of the few that could do it. I, I maybe max packs. Maybe max packs. I would say I would give max packs that too. Yeah, that was a crazy game. Great plays from both players. Neural Parasites on the Disruptors with Friendly Fire. That's all the stuff. Burrow Roaches with Tunneling Claws against the Hero build. Hero at an extreme disadvantage, being very decisive. Uh, interesting strategies from both players. Great micro. A banger of a game, too. Game of the night, I'm going to call it. Let's see. We have a whole series ahead of us. Spawning in the upper right-hand corner. Of altitude, the nice snow map and the new map pool upcoming. Give it up for Hero from Dragon Phoenix Gaming. And his opponent in the bottom left. Also from Dragon Phoenix Gaming. Give it up for Dark. In the blue. All right, it's going to be Pylon Scout from Hero. Not a bad idea against Dark. Uh, he may be just going to get a block and or try to, given the map distance. We'll see. These are really big maps. So, mm, yeah, this is such a big map. You have to do an earlier pull to get a hatch block. I'm pretty sure. Well, eh, just barely. So, very crazy stuff. Now, funnily enough, oh, Samo, part of the Zerg Cabal in here. As we saw, it crashed the game before. <laughs> How you doing, Reza, too, as well? And Cordy. 
Yeah, Dark got to like 70 workers. But they both got to pretty big. It was about the army and the fights taken. Uh, simply put, I don't see any Protoss getting to that position like we were saying. I actually agree with Posca. There's not very few Protoss would be able to come back from that position. Simply put, that was it. The patch isn't live. Again, for those of you that didn't know, again, the players are playing on custom ma you know, maps in the tournament. This is not in the ladder pool, and there is a mod for the current state of the patch. The patch is not released. It's not even fully developed yet. No changes are final. But I, I, I kid you not, in that time, there would be memes in chat, but I will say that is simply not a matter of just being Protoss. You know, that was... An incredibly challenging position to come back from and we've seen zerg players in similar positions come back from it in different ways uh in, in lower supply at the time it's uh at this level you're talking the highest tier players in the world it's like mini gsl right here as easy as i can put it Scarlet did really well. I'm kind of disappointed I couldn't get that side, but I did. I chose this side, and I'm very thankful to be casting. Um, because I usually cover. I don't get Scarlet a lot, but it's very rare that I get a chance of this. And like I said, I've been covering a lot of Terran and Zerg lately, and I like to change it up. And I know on my own tournaments, usually we'd see a lot of Protoss, and I've not been getting to do it. But not any Protoss is this hero, so I. I think this was a, a pretty good run. And we got to start out with a member of Kirktown versus Hero. So one of that is the the Dave and many other stream team, but it is the it, it's the Dave stream team. It's the Dave and Yeti team. It's Kirktown. The Zerg Cabal is a meme from a Nathanius tweet. Uh went on uh, he mentioned something about the Zerg Cabal in a patch. You know, it's a big bunch of controversy. We can talk about that after EPT. It's I'm literally memeing, but uh, I actually agree with Nathanius a bit. I think he was just speaking what's on his mind, and he always gets shit. And uh, he is a Terran player, mind you, but... I will say... Protoss players are not looking forward to this map pool mostly. I think that people don't mind the patch as much, but it's the the map pool is certainly mm, you know not the most Protoss favored. There you have it. I was struggling for the words, but it really it was like a meme. Everybody started putting Kampal from uh, Mortal Kombat and pictures and stuff. It was really funny. Darko and very cheeky. Ooh, he's going for a little cheese here. He's trying to. He's going for a Nidus. And this do be looking like a lot of lings out of this Nidus. There's a lot of lings out in the map already. <laughs> Is Hero sniffing the cheese? That's the, the question. No Forge this game. He doesn't have any position of this Overlord. No pneumatized Carapace, though, so it's a slow Overlord. I don't think Hero is going to see this. I'm calling it now. Very danger, uh, damaged and depth right here. No high ground vision yet. Oh my gosh, it's so close to seeing it. The Oracle's just out of range. This is looking scary. 34 lings in production. Queens are popping. The night is pops. Another one coming out. There's no void ray or anything to shut it out. It's just out of vision. Dark already finding new ways to be dark on the new maps to come before they're even on the ladder pool. We've seen him do these strats in the past. Oh my god, look at this! And there's no way in hell Hero holds this. I just don't see it, folks. GG is called. Dark's taking game number three. And what's turned out to be a hell of a series, a hell of a grand finals of the EPT Open Cup Asia number 159. Yeah, they are playing on the new... They're playing on the current state of the new patch, which, like I said, is not fully developed. All 
I'm waiting for our map number four. If Dark wins this map, he takes it. If Hero wins this one, we're going to game five. But guys, let's go here. Okay, I'm just typing you guys some of the stuff from the future. We're going on to game number four. And a little cheeky cheese. Mr. Dark. In the previous game. Anyway, spawning in the upper left-hand corner. In the red. Give it up for Dragon Phoenix Gaming's hero. And his Zerg opponent in the bottom right coming in with the cheeky cheese. Give it up for Dragon Phoenix Gaming's Dark. Dark's actually had uh, some wins. Uh, Solar. Mr. Uh, Onside Solar there. We've seen Bion. We've seen Oliveira. We've seen Dark. But we haven't really seen Hero take an EPT in a minute. So they, they made the Hydras, basically they made the Hydras what was determined to be really OP, and they actually were. Uh, I tested that first patch, and they're not. Um, I understand why Poshka was saying no too, by the way. So they've been slightly nerfed, from, they're still buffed from the current patch. They were slightly nerfed from there, because they were like ridiculously... Pretty good. <laughs> if you saw them previously. Now they're, f they're faster on creep with uh, muscular augments. Versus faster all around. Period. And you can stutter step them like marines. When you had augments like anywhere on the map. That's what I was... I, I was trying to tell you that, Pashka. Remember I was saying... I already don't go carriers for a reason against Zerg. My PvZ is improving a lot. My EU, when uh, myself, I've been focusing more on EU for my actual stats because my NA is just fucking toxic right now. Um, simply put, to play on. <laughs> but I, I, I'm uh, just going to say there's a reason why I've not been playing that style for quite some time. Okay, let's see here. All right, guys. Sorry about that spacing out a bit. Alrighty. Well, it's going to be another Oracle opener from Hero. Metabolic boost, not super, super fast, but relatively quick from here, uh, from Dark. And uh, we'll see what happens here. And yeah, I'm just saying why they changed the, the patch after. It was certain, I like in testing them too. 
I actually did a test when it first came out with a way higher rank friend of mine who off raced the Zerg than I was, but uh, I had the whole Protoss death ball and he almost beat the entire army with nothing but Hydras. It was hilarious. We were both just like laughing our asses off. <laughs> Shout out to Sir Francis Ball Savage. Alrighty, anyway. Yeah. Oracles and Adepts coming out. Queens, uh, Dark's got a bunch of Queens like normal. Good amount of them for uh, how he plays too and his positioning's really good, but he isn't going to go blind with no spores against Hero Oracles, so that's pretty smart. Okay. So, fourth hatch going down for dark. I don't know. I'm kind of spacing out. I was reading pet, uh, chat and uh, getting a little sinus sinus pain here. So, bear with me. Some old man Dave problems going on. Or it's my teeth. Combination of both. Um, yeah. Alrighty. We'll see what happens. Three oracles going out to put some pressure on on the other side of the map of Dark. Dark uh, going into Rochi Boys again. Plus one range attacks. Hero going in for Blink Stalkers. Not going for a forge. All right, I don't really like forgeless hero builds usually, uh, unless he tacks. And by tacks, I mean he scouts this and he goes into Robo quick because this is a plus one range attacks. Reading research for these uh, roaches right away. Or one oracle goes absolutely down. Let's take a look at the trades. Seven drones, three queens, and three lings for two oracles and adapt and a probe. Basically, we'll just say the two oracles. I'd say it does work out relatively favorable for our Protoss player. A uh, blink has completed. All right. So that patch again is is the outdated one. I apologize, guys, but that's just how she'd be. Oh, decent catch. One of the queens is picked off. But uh, most of these stalkers are surrounded. Still, Hero manages to get a snipe on the fourth base. It's immediately rebuilt by Dark. Oh, Hero's not paying attention. He eats a bile. Uh, Elephant Man linked something before. Hero not going for zippity doo -dah fast fourth base, but he's going to have a pretty standard time fourth by the time he takes it. It would look like not tacking up Nidus again. Uh, I don't know, Hero. I think the Nidus is going to be more forward position. Or it's, yeah, this Ling is going to drop the Nidus. This Ling is going to be the, the doer of the Nidus. The Nidus bringer. It's the Nidus bringer Ling. Ooh, nice Biles. They're zoning Hero back, but beautiful Blink Micro at the same time. These guys are not messing around, except for Hero. Again, no Forge, no Tech, but he's going this much. Oh, he does have a Forge. Okay, there's the second Forge. He just didn't start plus one. So, I just personally not a big fan of that. It's what adds impact to the Gateway Man army when you're playing this style. And, uh, yeah. They did get it. Uh, Gene Sim, you said you wouldn't notice it, but let me tell you, when we played this stuff, it was extremely noticeable. That original one, why they reduced it, was like, these numbers don't look big. But I'm telling you, when you played with that, if you play with the, they have that version of the patch, you can notice huge time. Uh, chat, just, abs I'm just spitting facts. 
you don't if you're at least like diamond three you're gonna notice that very significantly um even with the reduction you can tell they're way faster once you get augments like i promise you you shall notice pathogen glands again at no burrowed roaches this time this is reminiscent of uh our second game but a little weirder we got a nidus but it's not used yet because hero's keeping dark back he's doing decent creep control he's getting a fifth base behind this dark on four bases hero getting his plus one ground armor and plus two ground weapons elephant man i am gonna try to catch that link and we're gonna try to update that after Ooh, hero getting a good surround trapping lings actually the oracle's doing god's work as well forcing the queens back he cleans up all the ravagers damn hero's getting some good damage done dark's army supplies higher but can he actually do it his army was disjointed uh but hero's coming in with a very strong push fungal though catches the uh stalkers some of the zealots but gd is called and we're going to a game number five very good game sorry for the lack of casting for a bit i'm kind of not you know just had a moment where i wasn't feeling the greatest here but now i gotta get in hype mode thank you elephant man shout out to mr elephant man give him a follow he do be starting to stream and stuff or has been i'm actually gonna post this in my discord with a tag to elephant man Ancient Cistern. Very, very good stuff. Very, very, very good stuff. All right. We got a game five. These guys have been putting on some good games. I do apologize again for space now, but we're getting into it. It's the match of the evening. Spawning in the bottom left-hand corner of Ancient Cistern in the red. Give it up for Dragon Phoenix Gaming's hero. And his opponent in the upper right. Give it up for Dragon Phoenix Gaming's dark and blue. Yeah, Gene Sim, you weren't playing on the patch. That's right. Yeah, exactly. It might be something to experiment with. And you could test it out on the... Uh, there's patches that had the other one, but the current one, I gotta remember what we're using. Uh, I'm on the Asian servers, but I gotta ask, like, Balemolf or Steadfast. Our Chicken Man for that may know, but he's been a little out of it. I don't want to bug him about stuff he might be just catching back up on I'll ask because uh, there is a particular patch they use that has the current version as they make changes um, I'm sure they're going to stabilize it out pretty soon relatively soon but we'll see yeah, standard 20 nexus and core from hero and a Force Triangle third is going to be successful this game for Hero. We are on match point, guys, so. Twisted Cistern. So, funnily enough, we don't have anybody playing on uh, my buddy Omni Skeptic as his first map in this whole thing at Aru, which is pretty base, Mr. Probe. My buddy Josh. But none of the players have played on it today. It is. Uh, what the hell is it called? 
Drawing a blank. Boomer moment. We'll see here. All right, more drones moving on over to Triangle Third. We'll see what happens. Eh, Probius Maximus. Gonna get a little uh, more information. Maybe try to block the third. Oh, Lings are gonna look for it though. Yeah, Lings are gonna find it. Hero doing the damnedest as he can to deny this third base. But, oh, he's gonna be surrounded. The Ning Inquisition. Well, actually he's gonna be able to return at home. Is that gonna shade out? Try to get some pressure on it. I think it was scouted by the Overlord. It may not have, he's gonna know it's not there. So yeah, the Lings and the Queen kind of camping out over here toward the, th what is the third base, but it's taken as the second, as he was forced to not take his natural. Again, an aggressive metabolic boost from Dark is going to be the play. Hero going to just shade back. He's going to try to get a drone or two. He's going to get a drone, get a shot on another. Cancel the shade. He's like, heck with it. We're going to risk it. Does he get a Ling? Okay, that's kind of money. Ideally, he's going to hope for another Ling or keep the Adept alive and get back home. Stalker chasing over this. Oracle's going to help kill the Overlord, which is kind of nice for Hero. Supply blocking Dark for just a moment. Actually, yeah. Yeah, three Overlords are going to be popping, though. But it does cause a bit of a nuisance to Dark. He didn't really have much money anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much. A little later third base from here. I like the fact that he has this. Look at how big this is in your main base on this map. So this leaves room for drops. This leaves room for Nidus's. This leaves room for cannon rushers, dare I say it. Yes, I said that dirty word. There's a lot of cheese potential and a lot of drop potential. And now that I see it, that's actually kind of neat. Oh, yeah, dude, it is. They have to build up the hype and anticipation for sure. Uh, this is really cool of a map. I don't know if you guys are seeing what I am. I mean, it could be an annoying. Terrans are going to love this for the drop uh, potential. Protoss for Warpins. Zerg for Nidus's or Ventral Sack Overlords. Uh, but like I said, I could even see cannon rushes. We might even see like procs. This might even be... It'd be tough to do, but you might be able to pull off a proxy base flying, a proxy rack flying for Terran. It's a long distance to fly, but it's about scouting. That could be Kirkdown. Okay, it's going to be a blinking plus one opener from uh, Hero, not a charging plus one. Because Dark's been playing very much a Rochi style, which he usually does, but. He has been known to change it up. Dark going for a eh, pretty standard, relatively early fourth base. We saw him take a four minute fourth in one game. Uh, that was the one that uh, the Hero really had to work to come back on. He, that was, yeah, we've had some really good games tonight. This one, eh, let's see. Ah, uh, Hero's not paying attention. The Oracles almost loses one of them. But does not. Both us uh, or both damaged ones are pretty severely injured. This is what I would have liked to see before. But he didn't go for that. Nope. Ah, uh, Hero! There's an overlord. And look at guys, there it is. The Artosilope. Gene Sim hey, with the memes there. There you go, buddy. We have him right there. Now, okay. It's going to be a lot of links putting pressure on the fourth, but guess what? Oracle's getting a good, doing a good job of getting some pest control done. Forcing the links back. Blink Stalker's posture and elsewhere. Another Forge going to finish up. Plus one finishing for Hero. And he has have charged and immediately on the way. As well as plus one ground armor. And he is starting plus two right away. I do like this from Hero. This is pretty cool from Dark. He is going for plus one melee. This game with a macro hatch. I do like this. 
He's kind of doing his own spin on the Solar response to the hero build. It's Kirk down Yeti, for sure, in game number five. And chat. Let's see if we what we got for Victor. Oh, I like this even more. I don't like all the... Like I said, I don't like the all your eggs in one basket production for Protoss players, like in a third base or something more exposed. But still, I do like the fact that we have a double robo from Hero because that means we're going to see disruptors. Uh, and if Dark continues on to Lings, we may see some Colossi, but I'm sure we're going to see... Oh, no. Blink is on cooldown. Still. Oh, Hero manages. Wow, Dark didn't overextend. But I think he could have got more damage done. Like, look at that army. That's so many links. He could have got a full surround for sure. Oh, Hero getting some more little trades on links. And more importantly, getting the creep tumors. Yeah, he gets them. So he is going to deny some creep spread at the areas that he's uh, expanding on. Dark is getting some good creep spread on the right side of the map, but... Is going to buy Hero some time. Okay, we have centrifugal hooks and melee continuing for our Zerg player. Plus two ground weapons going to finish for Hero pretty soon. He's got double immortal production at Templar Archives. Uh, Hero, oh, does blink out. A lot of photon cannons, a couple batteries are going to help the cause. But he can warp. Oh, he's going to warp into High Templar. Going into Archons. It's going to be an immortal Archon charge. A lot pushed more than likely. So we may not even see disruptors. We'll see what happens. Fifth hatch going down for dark. Oracle's barely surviving. One did fall, but as long as Hero's keeping eyes on this, he should be fine. Hero now going into... Actually, yeah. Wow, he's on to... Yeah, he's going into shields and armor plus two. Interesting. So he can get a faster shields uh, because he's scouting this push. He wants to get something impactful quick, and he's getting Archons. That'll actually be pretty helpful. Okay, I like how the Archons in the front, but the army's a little disjointed. Zealots are going toward the Banelings. Banelings going toward the Immortals. Not what you want to see from Dark. Beautiful pickup of the Archons. And, yeah, we got ourselves a fight, folks. Who well, else is more than a 12 pack? That's Yeti, man. Yeti Spaghetti. And moving on in, guys. Weren't for some fighting. Oh no, hero sacrificing the oracles, but guess what? It buys him time for the queen's not fighting the rest of the army. The Ling's doing good work on the stalkers, but Archon is still going to live for the moment. Three big daddy immortals are going to come. Oh, the warp prism falls and 48 workers fell behind us. The Banelings, the Banelings aren't done yet. Banelings for days. 53 workers fell for hero. Wait a second. Look at how many workers Hero has. Oh, my God. That's actually insane. Hero really needs to end the game. He's got a scary army, but he really had a little bit of indecision there. That's unfortunate. I didn't even see that because I was reading chat. And, man. Damn. Hero's now in a bit of a predicament. He's fully surrounded by Ling's drones and roaches. Mostly drones and roaches. Uh-oh. Stalker's going to get hit by the Banelings. Unfortunately, it's not the Immortals, but they're going to allow time for the Immortals to target for the Roaches. And 36 drones fall for our Zerg player. Unfortunately, Hero wasn't probing behind this. He was focusing on the, uh, the Micro, and he did get another War Prism out, but losing that Micro... If he kept that War Prism alive during that, I think it would have been a little different, but he's lost so much economy, it's just dangerously low. This is the most protected base, and it did survive. Uh, but yeah, look at this. He's going to reset on literally three bases. And that is no bueno. That said, we're going to see what happens here. Archons and Stalkers are all that's here. Just two Archons and a small group of Stalkers. Oh no, Hero's going to lose that War Prism again. Oh, or is he? Well, Dark's forced to pull drones again. He's going to lose even more. This game's getting fucking close. Dark leads on workers, but Hero does have enough where he could be macaron behind it a little bit. Nope, GG. Hero takes it. And Pashka calls it. We have a 3-2 for Hero in a damn close series. That was some spicy stuff. Dark, I think, as good as he plays, 
I think Hero is kind of more prepared for his style of play. Um, if you're focusing that heavily on roaches against the Hero build, we see it happen. In the, I've seen it happen in the past a lot. But that's it, folks. That was the Grand Second Finals. And we are doings with it. All right, with that said. The problem was that Dark lost so much, too. So Dark lost his whole army. He was losing some workers before it. And he had to pull workers. So where Dark technically had more workers, he had a lot of lost mining time. I didn't pull up the income graph because Dark had to pull workers in those engagements. And that lost mining time kind of evened it out. So he was basically mining on probably 1.5 bases in actual saturation. All right. And that was another one, folks, for the books. EPT Open Cup Asia number 159. And a little bit of a humdinger. Hey guys, if you're new to this channel, please smash that follow button. Do appreciate you guys, but a great series. Great EPT Cup. We're going to go on to a little raid ski.